Hello everyone. It's David at Grow and Eat This. It's the end of October. Temperatures are getting much cooler. Uh, and as you can tell, these eggplant are done here in the green stalk. It's time to get this stuff stripped out of here. And I want to get some strawberries planted in here. I've got some strawberries that I bought down at Grower's Outlet. And then I've got two kinds of strawberries that I got from a company over in North Carolina. You got to do all you can do to help those poor folks in North Carolina. And we're going to get this stripped down. We're going to get the soil all replenished. And then we're going to plant some strawberries. You start stripping stuff out. And these green stalks, their pockets are so small that there's not much dirt left. So it's going to take quite a bit of replenishing. I mean, that's a that's a lot to come out of that green stalk one pocket. As you can see here with a green stalk, when you get something like eggplant, boy, they will really get themselves rooted in here. And it's a challenge to get them out without really tearing everything up. I find it easier to just take the green stalk apart until you get down to where that is. So that you've got some room to get in here and work. But this guy here has really gotten himself rooted in. Boy. These are rooted in so tightly, it's probably telling me I don't want to put eggplant in here next year. They grow just fine in the ground or a pot. It's more of an experiment than anything else. Wow, what a root structure. Trying to beat some of the dirt back out. I've got two green stalks. I'm going to put some of my strawberries in this one. Up in these top sections. So that as they do runners and dangle down, I can root them in some of the lower sections. Now I gotta get some fertilizer for them. I'm pretty sure I said before, if you got a green stalk, you wanna get one of these tools. It's like the only way to be able to get in here and mix these soils up. Because you got a limited space to work, particularly in these lower pockets. This thing will get in here and mix it up very, very nicely. It's fertilizer. It's the new soil put in, mixed in with the old soil. Gets this stuff nice and loose, ready to plant. So, I've tried a lot of things. This guy does it. <laughs> 